here it is the box Ugh, better stop blabbing on and just open it up hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel confession guys i totally did a like an impulse buy the other day and you know i I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit like guilty about it. I pulled the trigger on this item because it came up for an incredible price, which I just don't think I'll ever be able to find this price again. And uh, well, that doesn't mean I should have bought it, but in any case, we're gonna unbox it together because like, why not? I have a handbag channel, may as well show you guys what bag I bought. Now I bought this bag from Luke's at Forward and you know, Luke's at Forward, I think they're based in Queensland and I have got some amazing deals from them before. My last bag that I purchased from them was my Trim 35, which I've been loving and it was like a thousand dollars, like it was a crazy price for a bag like this and I've been wearing it all the time. So I'm always stalking their website, which is very dangerous because I know a lot of you guys who are into collecting bags and you love the pre-love market, you'll like stalk the real real and like eBay and all this. And I've really cut down on my stalking, but oh, basically my friend sent me this bag and I was just shook at the price and the color. And I just basically pulled the trigger on it. Like as soon as I saw it, which I don't know, guys, I feel kind of bad because it still wasn't cheap, you know, like it wasn't a thousand dollars. It was, it was like 3,000. It was almost 4,000. So yeah, it was a lot of money, guys. Uh, I'm talking Australian money here, but this is going to be a true unboxing. So after this, I'm going to authenticate it as well, get a few little checks just to see if it's okay, because I have accidentally bought um, a fake bag at a consignment store before and lucky I got it authenticated. Luke's it forward. I've never had a bad experience with them. They've always been quite good. This video is not sponsored, obviously. I'm just showing you guys an unboxing. So here it is. The box. Ugh, better stop blabbing on and just open it up. Oh, that's nice. They gave me a little note. Thank you so much for shopping with us. Hope you enjoy your bag. Luke's it forward. Uh. Oh, 20% off jewelry. That's nice. Okay, okay, okay. So, they wrapped it up really nicely. Didn't come with an original Hermes dust bag. Oh, it's an Hermes bag, by the way, guys. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. I'm kind of nervous, guys. Oh! Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my gosh, okay, this colour is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, I'm obsessed with the colour. Okay, let me... Oh! It's a gorgeous colour, you guys. Like, this is why I bought it, because as soon as I saw the colour, I was stunned. So this is a So Kelly bag in the size 26, which I'm going to be honest, I had the So Kelly on my wish list of, like, things that I would love to buy. Um, but I was looking for the So Kelly 22, because I thought the 26 was a little bit big, but... I was sucked into the price and the colour and I just pulled the trigger because usually these bags sell for well over 6000 even like $8,000, $10,000 to be honest. If this was in the boutique, it would be way over ten k. That's how I justified it. But yes, I just look at it, guys. It's so beautiful. Um, so this bag, it came out in around 2008. John Paul Gaultier actually designed this bag. Um, he designed a lot of really awesome bags for Hermes, including the Gypsy Air and like the Shadow Birkin. And this was another one of his really awesome designs. And I like it because it's a little bit easier to use than a normal Kelly because it's kind of just got like an open top. So you open it like this and then bam, you can just chuck your stuff in there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Noe bag from Louis Vuitton. Um, I did want to get the Kelly Odo backpack because I thought that would be a really cute little casual um, 
like Kelly option but I was worried that the Kelly Ado would also be a little bit annoying to use because of the flap but it seems like this bag would be uh, rather practical. Um, I got this one in the Togo leather but I believe you can also get it in Clemence and it said that the colour was rouge rouge something but i had a little bit of i did a little bit of research and i feel like this color is ruby or rubis it's spelled but I, i'm pretty sure it's ruby red because it's a bit more of like this raspberry red color and yeah i think this one in particular is the stamp is n in square so i think it's from around 2010 2011 so it's yeah, it's like a 10-year-old bag, 10 to 13-year-old bag. The condition is really awesome as well. Um, so let's just see, like, I quite... So you kind of just have to wear it like this. But um, I'll probably just... Like, even if you leave it done up, is that easy to use? Yeah. Like, you could... Actually, yeah, you don't even have to undo it because you can just, like, chuck stuff in there. So that's what makes it very convenient. And... To be honest, after I bought this bag, I thought, oh, should I buy, like, a Fendi pom-pom or a Fendi monster to, like, put on the side of it? Because I think that would be so cute. But then I always do this thing when I'm shopping, like, I, I want to buy more things after I've bought, spent money on something. So I really did have, like, this thought that this would be awesome with, like, a Fendi pom-pom. But what do you think, guys? Is that too much? Because, like, yeah. But what do you think about the colour? I really like this colour. It's like a pinky red. Um, I do have Rouge Vive from um, 1991. See how this is more of a red red and this is more of a pinky red. And then this is Rouge de Coeur and this is more of a bright red. So yeah, I just thought it was a bit of a different colour but definitely a colour that, yeah, I just, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so they've stuffed it on the inside with more paper. So it's fully leather lined. The inside is chev leather, if you can see that. So it's fully leather lined. It has a pocket as well here. Um, yeah, the quality feels pretty nice. I mean, it's an Hermes bag. It's got a little slip pocket in there. And yeah, I mean, it's going to fit a lot of stuff, guys. Like, it's a massive bucket. It's not that heavy, actually, which is good. It's basically just an open bag. So I think because it's quite long, stuff won't fall out of it because, yeah, I wouldn't open it and close it. I think, I suppose you could cinch it, but I think that's as far as it can go. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's quite nice, actually, because color is gorgeous. And I think for traveling, it'll be really nice as well. Um, let's just see how many ponies I can fit in here. If any of you guys have the So Kelly, let me know because see how it kind of does that? I feel like I need some sort of like bag organizer in here, but I was looking and I don't know what bag organizer to purchase for this bag. But anyway, um, let's just see how much I can fit in here, guys. So I have um, this My Little Pony. This one's from the 80s. Um, I'll just throw her in there. And then this one is also from the 80s. I like the look of the 80s My Little Ponies. I think they're really, like, pretty. Um, she's got a little heart on her butt, so I'll just fit that in there. Um, this one's more of, like, an early 2000s pony. So I've got three, purple, four. This one's a 90s baby. She's, she's really cute. The 90s ones are so adorable. Um, I think I have, so, uh, five. Uh, six, she's a painter. Uh, seven, uh, eight. Okay, damn. I feel like I could fit another eight in there. So it fits at least 20 to 30 My Little Ponies, to be honest. Um, I have eight in there and it's not even half full. So this bag would definitely carry a lot. And, um, yeah, it's more of a practical everyday bag, but I'll just show you guys how you can wear it. So you can wear it on your shoulder like this, which looks quite good. But I think we can also adjust the strap. I kind of just, like, made the strap do this, but I don't really feel like that looks that good. And, um, it's still kind of too short for me to crossbody in, like, 
a normal manner like it's kind of like really up there and also i feel like the proportion of this bag looks weird as a crossbody on me i think you'd have to be like super tall but the good thing about this bag is that you can completely take off the strap and you can just attach whatever other strap you want to the bag so if you want to wear it crossbody you totally could add another strap or you could even like uh, add a canvas strap that's shorter so like on the toolbox bag how they have the thick canvas strap i think that could look quite cool in this bag if you didn't want to use the leather strap but for now i think i'll just stick to the leather strap because it looks pretty good. So, final verdict, am I going to keep it? Well, firstly, I'm going to get it checked, so I'm going to authenticate it. So far, it looks pretty good to me. It doesn't seem not like it's not authentic, but, you know, it's good to do your double checks. I also really like the look of it with a charm, so I like that. Um, but the So Kelly, I do wonder if they'll reissue this bag again. Um, they did discontinue it at some point because maybe it wasn't as popular as the normal kelly bags i think it could be cute if they reissued this in like a mini size um i do like the look of it when uh the models kind of carried it just with the top handle strap like how they did on the runway i think that looked quite cool and i've even seen this in like very fancy alligator versions and that sort of thing it doesn't really seem like a kelly bag it's just definitely just this part that has given me the kelly bag vibe so i wouldn't say it's like a good replacement for a Kelly bag if that's what you want but if you want like a very casual Hermes bag that is still got a bit of a recognizable element to it I think this is nice because a lot of people will I suppose recognize this part as being an Hermes bag and then the rest it kind of allows itself to be easy for daily use unlike you know a Birkin or Kelly can sometimes not be the most practical bags because they have a lot of flaps and they don't have a like a shoulder strap in terms of the Birkin and yeah I think as like a casual tote this is quite nice although I did kind of want a Kelly Ado backpack so I wonder if I'm just like settling to get this but I don't know I feel like the price was so good so I'm just like yeah I don't know I don't I don't really want to send it back though because I think it's really nice and I love the color um, but yeah, um, I think I'm gonna keep it, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video today. Sorry if it wasn't like the best unboxing, um, obviously I'm just trying to take it in and everything, and sometimes, um, you know, I, I don't look the best, but... Uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the So Kelly bag. That's what this bag is called, uh, So Kelly. Um, I haven't seen a lot of YouTube videos on this bag, so it was kind of hard for me to do my research, and I don't know, like, if this was a good choice. But yeah, I, I'm loving like the craftsmanship on it. I think I'm just gonna get like a bag insert for it, so it's not as slouchy, but. Um, I think it's good that I got it in Togo because it's, I think in Clemence it would be rather heavy, especially in this size. Um, yeah, but I'm going to stop blubbing on now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing, and I'll talk to you guys on my next one.